action. Good fucking morning, everyone. Yeah, I am fucking back. Can you believe it? And yes, I am fucking back. When I say I'm back, I'm fucking back. All right, so you guys saw my Instagram post, and um, I'm not quitting bigger by the day. I'm just no longer going to continue putting weight on. So, um, you know, I said I hit 314. I actually hit 315 was my highest uh, um, that I hit. And now I've come down just a little bit. Um, I've been bouncing between 310 and 315. And like I said in the Instagram, this is fucking, I, you know, I gained 30, 39 pounds in seven weeks. So it's a pretty tremendous fucking gain when my goal was 30 pounds in three months. So uh, I basically proved my point, you know, did what I set out to do, accomplished my goal. And, you know, the whole point of this bigger by the day was to just show people that anything's possible that you can do anything you set your mind to. And if you're willing to do whatever the fuck it takes, which when it comes to getting big, it's eating fucking that much food and you know, training every fucking day. And we didn't, I didn't even finish the program, but we're gonna keep going, God damn it. We're gonna keep moving fucking forward and keep pushing. And everyone else out there, I don't think you hit 315 yet, at least, at least most of you haven't. So, you know, there's no reason to stop. So we're gonna keep going. We're gonna keep moving forward keep bumping those meals up, you know, keep those feeder workouts going. We gotta fucking do the feeder arm workouts. There's no way in the world we're gonna stop those feeder workouts. No fucking way. We're gonna get those arms up a fucking inch, you know. So uh, we are not stopping. We're gonna keep on moving. So I'm just not gonna push to put more weight on. So when it comes to the food, I'm gonna up the meals for everyone out there watching, but I'm not gonna do more than nine. And I'm sorry guys, maybe you just can't do it without me. Maybe you feel like I gotta be doing it for you guys to do it. I hope that's not the fucking case. I hope just me talking about it, motivating, um, you know, will be enough. But you guys can see how easy it is to put that fucking weight on, you know? And what you have to be able to do is you have to be able to, to take this and use it in all aspects of life and realize that everything is that easy. As long as you're willing to do whatever the fuck it takes and you're motivated and you get up in the morning and you push all day long towards achieving that goal that anything could be accomplished. So this example I used was what I felt was what most people out there who follow me can relate to, putting on fucking muscle. So the people out there that thought that it couldn't be done, well, Guess what? Now you realize it can be done. And it was done. And a lot of you out there did it. And I got to say that I'm impressed as fuck because so many people come up to me at the expo and say, Rich, you know, I put on 32 pounds. Rich, I put on 28 pounds. Rich, I mean, it's fucking amazing. There's so many people out there that got such amazing fucking gains. And the truth is, is I've been doing this my whole life. I know my body. I know what it takes. You know, I, I've, I've had to put size on for different occasions. And I, I know what's involved, you know, for me, it's, you know, it's like riding a bike, it's easy, you know, the people out there that have never done this shit before, you know, you guys have put on, you know, 20, 30, some of you even 40 pounds, it's fucking, it's awesome, it's incredible, so, uh, you know, you guys did an awesome job, but, you know, don't stop, we're gonna keep fucking going, so, we're gonna do this shit for maybe another three weeks, and then, the tough part is getting off the cycle and keeping the fucking size, and at the same time, pulling back with the meals, pulling back with the training, and keeping the same fucking size. That's the tricky part, all right? Because we're gonna prepare for the guys out there that wanna fucking get even bigger. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta come back down to reality, which is eating normal, you know, four or five meals a day, and then get ready to do this shit all over again to put on another 30, 40 pounds. And if I was, to take two months off and repeat this crazy ass fucking cycle, guess what? I could easily put on another 39 fucking pounds, easily. And please don't doubt me because then you guys are gonna make me fucking do it and I'll probably end up killing myself <laughs> because I can get to 350, 360 pounds, you know? And hopefully me doing this, you know, bigger by the day, prove that point, and now you guys will realize that if I truly wanted to be the biggest motherfucker, I truly could be. It's simply I don't want to. I can't 
function at over 300 pounds. It's fucking hell. It's torture. It's not a fun life. It's not something that I want. It's something I used to want. And then once I got there, I realized this is not what I really want. <laughs> you know, I want to be big. I want to be muscular. You know, I want to be the, one of the biggest guys in the gym, one of the biggest guys walking around, this and that. But I still want to have function in the body. You know, I still want to be athletic and I still want to have an aesthetic, pleasing, you know, nice physique. I don't want to just be a fucking huge monster. And, you know, that that's basically what I turned into. You know, I'm just a huge fucking monster. The people are just like, holy fuck, you're huge, you know? And it's great to hear that, but, you know, it's also great to hear, man, you got a great fucking physique. Man, if I could have your physique, wow, you're... You know, your aesthetics, wow, you have the smallest waist, wow, you know, those are the great things to hear too, you know, and I'm not going to be hearing that shit when I'm over 300 pounds. You know, when I'm down where I like to be, 260, that's when I hear all kinds of shit, you know. And, but anyway, it's fun, but we're going to keep going. We're going to keep pushing forward and keep going for another three weeks. Then we're going to get off cycle and I'm going to show you guys how to keep your fucking size and keep your weight while you're off, keep your fucking training going, keep your motivation going, and we're gonna get off for two months. And uh, then we're gonna be doing a whole new motherfucking program that's gonna be fucking, I'm so fucking excited. And I'm sorry we're still on Bigger by the Day, but that's, that's, the, way my, that's the way I work, man. I, I do something that's exciting, and I get all excited over it, and I fucking put all I can into it, and then I'm fucking off to the next one. You know, and that's a problem I've had my whole life, is I, you know, I'm just, my brain is always wanting more, 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 you know, so. Um, it's a good thing, but it's a bad thing too. So we're going to finish this off bigger by the day. I want to see people put on at least another five to 10 fucking pounds in the next three weeks. And then we're going to get off our cycle. We're going to keep our size. I'm going to show you guys, you know, the best way to go about it. And don't question me, just fucking follow and listen and listen to what I'm saying. And uh, when you see the results and you see that I maintain my size being clean and you maintain your size being clean, then you realize, fuck, this guy knows his shit. Same with putting on size. Don't question my shit because you can see it worked. Same with keeping your weight. It's going to work. You're going to stay the same size and be clean for two months. And it's, it's, it's don't question it. It's going to work. Just fucking follow what I say. <laughs> and... Then we'll be off to the new fucking program, which is going to be fucking awesome. It's going to be fun as fuck. So this shit is never going to end. So don't don't be don't be saying, oh shit, Rich is done. Rich is oh no, this shit is never going to end. Rich is never fucking done. You guys should know that shit. Until they bury my motherfucking ass, I am never going to be done. I'm going to keep doing what I do until someone fucking puts me six feet under. I'm going to keep doing what I do. And you guys, um, a lot of you guys out there think that, you know, oh, he's only going to make it to his, you know, mid-50s, he's on, no, motherfuckers, <laughs> I'm going to keep going on and on and on and on, so, uh, you know, sorry about that for you doubters out there, but I, my health is fucking clean as fuck, and um, I'm going to keep on doing what I do, so no worry about me stopping, this shit's never going to stop. Action. Meal number two. <clears throat> Got a little bit of a cold still, you guys can tell I got a little bit of phlegm in my throat. Still fucking sick from Ohio. Uh, what can I say, man? I got fucking sick as fuck. Running around, you know, in the fucking snow <laughs> with the fucking t-shirt on. And, you know, I, I was still sick. I went to Australia, still sick. But, you know what? Fucking nothing's going to stop it, right? Got to keep on going. Keep on. Nothing I can do. So, uh, you know. I'm sick too. I'm... Sarah's sick too. I can barely talk. She's like behind me, so she's like sicker than I am. I'm I'm like 90%, you know, almost 100%. She's what, you're probably like 50, 60%? Yeah, I, I, I talk like an old, old man. <laughs> <laughs> so meal number two, and guys, bigger by the day is going on. We are still moving forward. We are still getting bigger. I'm just not gonna put any more weight on. You know, 3, 14, I actually hit 315, I just didn't put it up on the fucking, you know, whatever, but 315 is uh, is plenty for me, I don't need to fucking get any bigger, larger, heavier, uh, I pretty much proved what I set out to prove, you know, all I want to do is I just want to show people that it can be done, you know, that this can be done, and you know, when I started it, 
there was thousands of people that were saying, you know, that's impossible. You know, he can't do that. It's going to be all water, blah, blah, blah. Well, you know, I, I pretty much showed that I was leaner. I was bigger and leaner and um, I'm still leaner and I can, I'll stay this size and I can stay this size for as long as I choose. You know, that's the thing is that you're capable of doing whatever it is you choose to do in life, you are 100% capable of doing. It's just up to you to fucking do it. Um, and um, that's what I'm trying to show everyone. I'm trying to motivate, educate, and show everyone that, you know, anything's possible. So the next mission I'll be announcing soon, but we're going to continue with Bigger by the Day, and we're going to keep moving forward. And I want all these... All you people out there to keep fucking growing and keep getting bigger because I don't think anyone else out there has hit 315 yet. So you guys don't have any fucking reason to stop because I know everyone out there that's doing this program wants to continue getting bigger and they're not satisfied with their gains. So I'm going to keep on pushing, keep on motivating, and we're going to keep on moving forward with this shit. Keep the feeder workouts going, keep the vacuums going, and keep the workouts going. Keep the food going, right? Yeah. What are you eating? What are you eating, babe? I'm fucking eating goulash. It's almost gone now. Oh. Pasta, beef, and some kind of sauce. It's good as fuck. I never had it before. I never heard of goulash. <laughs> but the shit is good as fuck. <laughs> Anyone out there that knows what the fuck goulash is, if you heard of goulash, then fucking, you know, Comment on my Instagram and tell me what the fuck it is, where it came from, because I have no fucking idea. But all I gotta say is it's some good ass shit. Dante, thank you, my man. This shit is good. Never heard of this shit, but it's good. <laughs> and coming from you, I know it's healthy. So, good ass shit. Meal two done. So, I'm going to stick at nine meals a day. I'm going to stay here. I'm going to keep my weight the same. And my body's getting used to this weight. And what will happen is it will acclimate after, you know, two, three, four weeks. And my body will get to the point where it will be comfortable with this weight if I choose to stay at this weight. But we all know, which I've said from the very beginning, is I'm not going to stay at this weight. This is not the weight I want to be. This is not the weight I feel good at. And it's funny because a lot of people out there miss that whole you know, that whole part of this program is that I made it clear that, and I've been making it clear for the past five years, everyone out there that follows me knows that I've said it about 10 billion times that my best weight is 260. That's where I feel the most comfortable. That's where I know I look my best. And that's where I prefer to be. My preferable weight, if I could choose any weight in the world for my physique is 260. That is where I feel my best, I look my best, and I'm my healthiest. Now, if I was to go to 220, that would be even a better scenario as far as health is concerned, and I'm aware of that. So, you know, I'm trying to be as extreme as I can, but still maintaining function in the body and being healthy and still trying to be a fucking mass monster at the same time. So that's a pretty impossible fucking task that I'm taking on. It's pretty impossible to fucking be healthy functional, athletic, and a fucking mass monster all at the same time. Those those things don't go together. But that's 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 my goal. And that's what's always been my goal since I was a kid. You know, you watch the superheroes growing up as a kid and you want to be like the superheroes. Well, the superheroes can run, jump, and fucking fly through the air. Well, guess what? 300 and something pound bodybuilder can't do shit. <laughs> but fucking eat. That's it. You know, you barely walk up motherfucking stairs. So, you know, so obviously that's not my preferable size or weight, which I've, all, I've made that clear a billion times. And there's so many people out there that, that seem to think that my goal is to be as big as I possibly can. And that's, a, I'm, I'm, that's totally against everything I've always said for the last five years. I've made it clear that the whole reason I did this program was to show people that if I wanted to be the biggest guy in, 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 in the world, I could easily. I could easily walk around and be the biggest guy walking at the, around at the expo, easily. And I wanted to show people that it, it, if I wanted to be 
that I could easily do it. So I went ahead and did it just to show people, look, do you see how easy this is? And again, I only went to 315, you know, that's it. I, I could keep going to 360, 370, 380, I could go to 400. Now, would it be pretty? Would it be healthy? No. Would I live to make it to 400? I don't know, that's a very good question. I don't know if I would be. I don't know if I would live to make it to 400 if that was my goal. You know, who knows? Only, the only way I know is if I tried, but there's no way in the world that I would even attempt to get any hairier than I am now, 315. That's just, I mean, this is so uncomfortable and it's, you know, it's definitely not a weight I feel good at. And again, I made this clear in the very beginning, people, I've said it from day one that, you know, 260 is my best weight. And a lot of people out there agree, a lot of people see me at 260 and they, they agree that I look a lot better and definitely healthier. So, but anyway, I'm gonna stay at 315 for another couple months. I'm gonna go to FIBO, I'm gonna go to Body and Power, be a fucking monster because that's what the Germans and the England, that's what they want. They wanna see fucking mass monsters, they wanna see Rich Piana as big as fuck. So I'm gonna show up as big as fuck, right? And you guys saw me last year, well, I'm a lot fucking bigger this year than I was last year. And people in Australia, people in Ohio were like, what the fuck? When they saw me in person, they were like, Jesus Christ, you're so much bigger than you were last year. So, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to seeing you guys and I'm gonna keep on pushing forward, motivating, and keep on growing. But I'm not gonna put any more motherfucking weight on. 315 is it. So uh, we're gonna do this for another three or four weeks. So you guys ready? So uh, anyway, I'm gonna get my shit together, get my ass to the gym and fucking kill something today. What's up, it's shake time, God damn it! Egg whites, boom, right at you. It's kinda like a fucking commercial, huh? <laughs> 20, 40, 60, God damn it. 60 grams, and look what we got here. How's that for a TV commercial? <laughs> you think Post will be calling me anytime soon? Hopefully. Oh, shit. No, just send me my motherfucking check. This is enough of a fun commercial right here, goddammit. Cocoa fucking pebbles. Oh, yeah. That's probably about, I'd say a cup and a half for you people out there that measure your shit and are constantly saying, Rich, how many calories do you eat a day? Rich, how many, what's your caloric intake on each meal? And I say, I don't fucking count my shit. How many, how many ounces of cocoa pebbles do you put in your shake? I don't fucking know, I just pour this shit in. What the fuck? Yeah, I'm going to put some 5150 in there. That would not have been good. Where the fuck's my creatine? Oh, damn it. Ha. Creatine. I'm fucking ready. No banana, goddammit. I ate all the bananas yesterday. Oh, shit. Yeah, so I have no fucking bananas. So I got cocoa pebbles. I got real food. You got peanut butter. Should I put some peanut butter in? Yes. Ooh, peanut butter. God damn it. Laura Scudders, which is the real shit. No Jiffy or fucking, what's that other brand? But the problem is when you get real fucking peanut butter, this is what the top looks like, right? It separates and you got all the fucking oil and fat on top. So you gotta stir it. So you gotta stir it. And then when you stir it, you fucking get shit all over the place, right? <laughs> it's a pain in the ass. So you know what I do? People that are lazy, I just, look at, I just pour that motherfucking fat right down the goddamn drain. <laughs> right? So I got rid of about fucking more than half the fat right there. It makes it easier to stir. I don't make a fucking mess. And it's fucking, now it's a fucking low fat peanut butter. Wow. Rich is a fucking genius. <laughs> right? That's a motherfucking scoop. Yum. That's a motherfucking scoop. Yum, yum, yum. Yeah. How do you like that? Where's my lid? My lid, goddammit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
That is a motherfucking shake if I've ever seen one. Peanut butter, cocoa pebbles, and fucking sweet potato real food. And don't forget the motherfucking egg whites, right? And don't forget to put it in the new goddamn bulked up, fucking juiced up, big ass motherfucking jug, right? This is a real motherfucking jug. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, you don't yeah. want to be walking around with a... We have any fucking little fucking gay ass fucking... Uh, what do you call them? Uh, what are those called? Little uh, shaker cups? Yeah. <laughs> little shaker cups? Yeah. They're in the... Cabinet don't be carrying around a little fucking shaker cup. You know, that's like... That's a... That's a it's in the, in the cabinet where all the... You need a motherfucking jug. That's what I'm talking about. A fucking jug. Do right, to, this oh. is this is the real deal right here. <laughs> All right, now for my workout, <clears throat> I have fifty one fifty, but I don't want that flavor. Wild berry, fuck wild berry. I'm talking about fifty one fifty green motherfucking apple, green fucking apple. That shit makes you go. <laughs> you take a sip. What the fuck is that? <laughs> That's what it makes you do because it's so sour and shit. <laughs> I'm telling you. So, again, do not try this at home. I am a fucking professional. This is only the Rich Piana fucking version. Do not repeat. Do not copy. This will kill you, kids. And I'm not joking. One. Two. Three scoops of 5150 is about 1,500 grams of fucking caffeine. That will fucking give you a heart attack. So if you're not Rich Piana, to stick to one scoop. And I'm not, please, I'm not bullshitting you guys. Seriously, don't go over one scoop. All right. Full as fuck. And we have blue raspberry. So I'm going to be mixing the blue and the motherfucking green. And let's see what we come up with. I have not mixed these two together yet. This is my first time mixing these together. So I have no idea what the outcome is going to be. Looks like it's going to be a fucking blue purple. I hope it's not going to be a purple. I do not want to be walking around with a fucking purple drink. That was two and a half scoops, people. It's probably going to be blue. that black <laughs> that motherfucking black drink I got a black pre-workout <laughs> it's fucking black right it's 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 like dark green is it yeah. if you put in the light I don't know it looks pretty black I like black actually black pre-workout fucking blacked out I like that shit I never seen black pre-workout yeah. it's a new thing the rich piano blacked out version <laughs> right yeah. yes all right let's do this I'm ready Got my arsenal, got my shakes, got my drinks. I'm ready to roll. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's do this. I'm really not ready to clean this shit. Yeah, I don't clean shit. Let's get out of here, babe. Meal number three. Pounding through the fucking meals today. I'm, I'm fucking back. You know, I'm, I'm getting over that cold, feeling good, and um, gonna get back on track. Meatballs and bow tie pasta. <laughs> I don't know why, man, but the bow tie pasta are fucking awesome. Pasta's pasta, just different shapes, but the bow ties, I don't know why, I like those the best. <laughs> so I just got done watching Tasho episode. People texting me from all over the fucking planet 
talking about it. So, but it was fucking good, man. Very good. You know, when they asked me to be on the show, I was a little, you know, I wasn't sure because if they want to, they can just fucking annihilate and destroy you <laughs> if they choose. You know, they can film whatever and put it together and have you say and whatever they want. You know, they can totally just, you know, they have the, the once you sign that paper, man, they can do whatever the fuck they want. And they could have made me say and doing whatever they chose. But, you know, they were honest. They told me what they were doing. Um, and everything they said was exactly 100% on, which is fucking, I'm going to be honest with you guys, it's rare. In the television industry, you know, it's all about them getting what they can, just like everything in life. You know, they're all only concerned about themselves and they're going to do whatever is best for them and they don't give a fuck about you. You know, but I'm going to have to say, man, Tosh show. Right on, brother. I mean, everyone on that show was fucking completely 100% honest, treated me like a, like a fucking, like a king. And, you know, the show turned out awesome and they did everything they promised. And I was honestly surprised. I, I honestly expected that, you know, they were going to, you know, take some jabs at me and, you know, typical, let's make this bodybuilder look like a fucking idiot. But they didn't. And they did everything they said. So I'm fucking happy. You know, it turned out good. It was. Good experience, fun experience. I enjoyed myself, and uh, everyone else seems to have enjoyed it, so it was awesome. So anyway, I'm gonna finish this fucking meal and try to still get my ass to the gym. But you know, I'm I'm too busy fucking eating, filling out. The workout's gonna be fucking crazy today with all these carbs and the fucking full as fuck and 5150 and real full. Oh my god, talking about arsenal. <laughs> So anyway, guys, mac this food down, shut the fuck up, and get the fuck out of here. So today we're going to drop the Maserati off to get that shit fixed. Finally. Got to get the brakes fucking fixed. The window, motherfucking door handle's about to come off. Goddamn people that wrapped this fucking car fucked it all up. So, what are you going to, you going to, what do you want to drive, babe? You going to drive the Maserati? Yep. Can you handle it? Mm -hmm. Are you going to drive it like it's made to be dry, driven? Or are you going to drive it like a fucking girl? And get in and drive that motherfucker. <laughs> so I'll follow you. I'll follow you and uh, we'll drop that shit. Sarah's in the Maserati and she's fucking kicking my ass. I didn't know we were racing and shit. <laughs> she left that part out. Go ahead, get over. There you go. There you go. Oh, you're going to get in the carpool lane with no motherfucking carpool people. <laughs> See how it is. Breaking every law possible. And got no motherfucking license on top of that shit. <laughs> shit. She ain't even got a fucking license. She ain't even got a goddamn social security fucking number. <laughs> and she's fucking doing 90 on the freeway, cutting through the carpool lane. <laughs> Going over double yellow lines and shit by herself. Oh boy. Oh, at least I can see that I need a fucking brake light. One of my brake lights is out on that motherfucker. So that's good news. I'm heading to the mechanic right now, so by following her, I get to fucking add that to the fucking list of shit that needs to be done. Shit. Man, these motherfucking California drivers are just a fucking joke. Can't take it. Cannot take it. Can't take it, people. Don't you have fucking places to be, things to do, money to make? I'm always in a hurry. I'm always late. 
What am I late for? I'm late for fucking money that needs to be made, things that need to be done, projects that need to be finished, things that need to be accomplished, goals that need to be broke. I'm always in a fucking hurry because I always got shit I need to fucking do, accomplish. I guess other people, they're just in their own little world. La da 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 Time to kill. On the lunch break, got another 15 minutes to spare, so just driving slow. Fuck that shit. You know what I mean? Just a whole motherfucking time to waste. Time is money. So yeah, well, let me see. We so let me see. We are doing 90, what, 93, 95, 95 miles an hour. 95 miles an hour on the 118. The 118's a pretty fucking safe freeway. I don't know if you guys heard of that freeway, but it's pretty desolate. There's like no one on this freeway. Hardly ever any cops on this freeway. If you're gonna speed, this is the freeway to speed on. <laughs> Oh man I'm not saying you should speed I'm not saying it's a good thing I'm just saying if Same with steroids I don't tell you to take steroids I don't think steroids are good But if you were to take them This is the way you should do it Right? If you were to speed This is the freeway to speed on <laughs> Oh man we up to 100 now? Almost. Shit. This fucking, this, this, the Bentley probably, top speed is probably, probably higher than her and probably faster than that Maserati. See, but see, I got the balls to pass her ass. And way, way over here on the left and get over the last fucking minute. These motherfuckers. There we go. Pass all these fools. Oh, here she comes. She's gonna try to race. She's trying to race. Look at that shit. Trying to race me. So I realize that I'm not even trying. Top speed of this motherfucking car is 180. This fucking car is 180. She's gonna crash that shit. <laughs> Driving like that. God damn. People are gonna think that's me and shit. <laughs> People know that car everywhere. They're like, oh, I saw you here. I saw you there. Driving like a fucking idiot. <laughs> the 118. Oh, uh, that was Sarah. That wasn't me. Damn. Come on, people. Come on, people. Fucking brake light. <laughs> That's embarrassing. Shit. It's fucking embarrassing. And the car is dirty as fuck. That's embarrassing. The car hasn't been washed in like a month. Oh, look at this shit. It's trying to fucking. I don't even try that shit. <laughs> oh. So you gotta be doing at least 110. At least. Uh, I have to slow down for all these slow motherfuckers. So that was all for nothing. Damn, girl. All 
right, now we're getting on the 170. And this is where you don't speed. <laughs> but I don't think she knows this. I don't think she knows that information. The 170 is where you don't speed because they'd be clocking you right here up coming up on Roscoe. Roscoe Boulevard, they'd be fucking clocking you. All the time they set up a radar. Oh, there's a cop right fucking there as she's fucking gets over illegally, cross the double yellow lines in the carpool. <laughs> fucking right in front of a higher patrol. But you know what? I think I'm gonna have to do the same. <laughs> right here is where they clock you. Right here at this, right there. Boom, they stand there with the radar gun, but they're not there today. But yeah, they're usually set up there all the time. They'll get your ass. So beware, 170. But, uh, I am. see this car is smooth as fuck 100 miles an hour with 24s and this shit you don't feel nothing not a bump usually I have the music on so it don't matter this the system in this fucking car is insane makes your fucking nose itch makes your whole fucking skin fucking itch it's fucking crazy the vibration but uh oh there she goes she's making her fucking move Getting crazy. About to exit off the freeway here. Just making her move. Come on, girl. What you trying to do? What you trying to do? <laughs> Come on, girl. Do something. God damn it. Looks like I'm fucking in the front now. Looks like I'm the motherfucking leader now. Nah, she don't know where she's going. That's why she don't know where the mechanic shop is. Look, she's over here. She's gonna try to pull some shit. She don't even know where the fuck she's going. I'm stuck behind this motherfucker because I'm trying to help her out show her where to go. Now I'm stuck behind this jackass. God damn it. Fucking fix that. Show everyone what's up. What's up, god damn it? I can drive and I can fucking film. What you gotta say about that shit, huh? Oh, well, she's behind me now. She don't know. She don't know where we're going. She don't know how to get there. So, drop this fucking Maserati off. Get this thing fixed. It's driving me out of my mind. It's fucking dirty. It's it's. It, it, I'm seriously like. As I'm filming this video, I'm just cringing at how shitty it looks. It's like embarrassing. I want to post the video, although it's kind of a cool video watching her drive like a fucking idiot. <laughs> but man, the car looks like shit. I fucking hate nothing worse than that shit. So, but uh, anyway, man, I can't stand these people the way they drive. Fucking just drives me fucking out of my mind. Out of my mind. Not fucking take it. I cannot take it. If you're one of these people, man, I, my question to you is, don't you have fucking shit going on in your life? Don't you have things to do? Right? What's up? <laughs> is that people are honking and shit? Are they out of their fucking mind? Man, the car's dirty as shit. Oh, she's trying to call me. I think. Better be trying to call me. I'm gonna ring her up, There it is. Hey, what's up? So we just dropped the Maserati off. 
and uh, now we're heading to the fucking gym. Uh, the mechanics, I haven't seen those mechanics in over a year, so of course they're like, Rich, Rich, oh my God, you're this, you're that. We saw you on Tosh show last night. Uh. <laughs> Babe, you were doing like fucking 110 on the freeway. Did you know that? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> car's fun to drive, right? You didn't even fucking open it up. Either you were just fucking barely cruising. Mm-hmm. You didn't even open it up. The thing screams when you open it up. I didn't even hear it once. Couldn't even hear nothing. You were barely just, ah, and it fucking takes off. Yeah. Oh, so here we are, parking in the fucking no parking cones. They're still putting these cones here. I know. Well, you know what? It's a good thing. You know why? Because no one else parks here. I'm the only one that parks here yeah, now. So, so it's like it's I got my own reserved. reserved spot now because no one else will park here because of the cones. So it's actually a better scenario. So that's a good thing. So it's the best possible scenario. It's the best scenario. possible scenario, right? <laughs> my favorite word, scenario. Yeah. Has anyone done a video on fucking scenario? How many times did I say scenario? <laughs> scenario. Scenario. Fucking scenario. The best scenario. The best fucking scenario. <laughs> People out there making fun of my videos, that's a good one right there, a scenario, I say that shit a lot. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, some funny shit. Funny fucking shit out there. Yeah. So, <laughs> too funny. I feel like I don't need to make videos anymore because so everyone else is making videos on me that I don't need to make no more. There's enough rich piano entertainment going on. <laughs> Funny ass shit. That's, we, we planned on filming the last couple nights, guys, but it was too fucking, the gym was so packed. Couldn't yeah. film shit. So, you know, it's like, there's so many things going on in our life right now. That's why we haven't been doing the videos. We got so much fucking shit going on, you know? So it's just crazy. But uh, you guys will see, it's all good shit. Good shit coming up. Kev? Yeah. All right, it's a big motherfucking back day. So I'm gonna gather my thoughts, get my kill it, and get ready to fucking destroy shit. So today I'm gonna concentrate on my lats, the width, getting big, wide as fuck, because I gotta be honest with you guys, my lats are weak, and I need my lats to be much wider. And I'm aware of it, and I'm fucking fixing that shit. God damn it. So, lat pulls to the front is one of the best exercises to really widen that back. And then I went straight to close grip pull downs and that hits the lower lats. And then I'm off to wide grip pull downs behind the neck. So I'm not giving these lats any fucking time to rest. I'm just destroying them. And then I'm off to one arm rows and I'm using the seated cable just because I can get a better squeeze, a better stretch, and I can really isolate that shit. And for me, I just get a better pump. Um, you know, you gotta mix it up though, always switch it around, but this is definitely something to do instead of dumbbell rows, uh, different variation. And it's just more of a feel exercise. You can really squeeze and stretch the shit out of those lats. And those lats are fucking pumping up, getting big, but never big enough. Then I go to pull-ups, and my back is already fried. So honestly, I go to the weighted pull-ups because pulling my body weight up, I'm gonna be jerking and swinging and looking like a fucking idiot. So uh, my body weight, um, I do much better on the assisted dip, assisted pull-ups. Then I'm off to seated rows, two-arm wide grip. The wide grip thumbs over really hits the outer lats and you can see the stretch and the squeeze and those outer lats popping. And that's what it's all about is getting that stretch and getting that squeeze. And then when I'm done training, sometimes I lean back, I relax and I let my mind take over and think about what's next, what I'm trying to accomplish, what my goals are what this whole workout was about. The mind is a very important tool in this process. So fucking go kill that shit. All right guys, you know what time it is. It's about that motherfucking time for me to hit the sack. But I gotta tell you, it feels good to be back. And um, you know, I, I, I miss doing the videos. I miss doing Bigger by the Day. You know, it's, I'm telling you, it's a lot of motherfucking work, but it's fun, I enjoy this shit, so I miss it. And I wish I could have, you know, 
uh, continued the series when I, you know, went to the Ohio Arnold, when I went to Australia, but there's just no way I'm at the booth the whole day. You know, there's just no way it would happen. Yeah. But I got to tell you, um, I missed it. I'm glad I'm back. We're going to keep on going. I'm about ready to hit that sack. Fucking got them feeder workouts. I'm going to do those fucking feeder workouts and I'm going to film that shit because I know you guys are dying to see the arm feeder workouts. And I have yet to show any on film ever. <laughs> so, so we got to get that shit on camera, god damn it. So I'll do my feeder workouts. I'm loving the fucking arm feeder workouts. You guys got to keep doing those feeder workouts, man. This, this, your arms are going to fucking blow up. It's going to be insane. I, I guarantee people at the gym after a, a couple of weeks are going to be like, what the fuck are you doing for your arms? You know, hopefully they know. Hopefully they already know what you're doing. Hopefully they're like, oh, that shit's working. But yeah, the feeder workouts are, it's fucking incredible shit. And I'm excited because I got to get my arms to catch up with motherfucking shoulders. <laughs> so uh, I got to keep on doing those feeder workouts. All right, guys, you ready for this shit? The goddamn fucking feeder workouts. 100 fucking triceps and 50 hammer curls, right? Non fucking stop. 150, 150, 150. Pump, burn, shit is on fire, and I'm hating life. But when I wake up tomorrow morning, my arms are fucking big and full. I'm loving it. So, you guys ready for this shit? Let's do it. 100 skull crushers, 15 pounds, goddammit. Let's do it. Ah! Whew! Oh! Oh my God! Whew! Whoa! Triceps are pumped! Whoa! Shoot! Ah! Ah! Holy shit, I can't fucking move, can't move my fucking arms, I can't even straighten them, look at that shit, what the fuck?
Wow, yeah, that's some crazy shit. The pump is at a fucking burning so bad. I can't even explain to you the burn, the feel. Like I can't really strain my arm all the way. Holy shit, I can't close it all the way. I can't do shit. <laughs> I'm a useless motherfucker right now. But hey, I'm a useless motherfucker that looks good, right? Boom! <laughs> And again, we are not stopping, we are moving forward. We're gonna keep on going. There is no stopping us. So we're gonna keep on getting bigger, God damn it! No fucking excuses. No, Rich is not quitting, Rich is not stopping. Rich is gonna keep on fucking going. And you guys are gonna come along for the ride and join me, because again, we are all in this shit together, like a motherfucking family. So anyway, guys, I'm out of here. I'll talk to you later. Have a great fucking night, and I'll see you tomorrow.